high school walk up songs. All right, I'm gonna go. In the Quincy High Press, Quincy High is the visitor tonight. They come in with a record of three and six. Started out red hot at three and oh, hit a slump in the season. And it's just the opposite for the Raiders. They had a rocky start starting up one and two. They're now five and three. On the hill tonight for the home team is number 20 sophomore Kyle DeBoer. And he will be uh, the, the he will be accounted by Zach Donahue from Quincy High. And he's junior. Kyle DeBoer tonight is uh, the backstop from North Quincy all year. Johnny Lynch. We are moments away from the first pitch here at Adams. Presidents, the center fielder, number three, Devin Desmond. Are ready to get under. Leading off of the presidents is the center fielder, senior, number three, Devin Desmond. The first time Quincy and North met, it was uh, a tight game early, and then the Raiders pulled away late. Desmond had a pretty good game. First pitch by DeBoer, strike one. Desmond aggressive early with a swing. Swinging at the first pitch of the game. Looking for fastball, something that he likes. Second pitch by DeBoer is ball in the dirt that Desmond goes fishing for. DeBoer is up quickly, 0-2. Again, uh, Kyle DeBoer, a sophomore in North Quincy, didn't get a chance to play last year because of the COVID season. So he's really a freshman as far as playing time goes, this being his first season with North Quincy going right up to the varsity. Has had a pretty good year so far for the Raiders. Desmond fouls the next pitch off. It remains 0-2. The 0-2 from DeBoer. Ball in the dirt. spot. Desmond didn't go for that time. The one two from DeBoer is a fastball outside to even the count of two and two. It's all so low. He went from 0 2 to 3 2. Desmond working the count here as a leadoff batter. Kyle doesn't want to start with a leadoff walk. He'll look for something right down the middle here, make him hit it. The 3 2 from DeBoer. And he gives a ball right down the middle to Desmond, pulls it down the line, and it is gone. Home run for Devin. Desmond leads off the game with a home run. And man, I said throw it down the middle and let's see what happens. And that's what happens. <laughs> Great piece by Devin. Desmond started off this game with a bang. That's a big time hit for a senior lead. The shortstop, number nine, Dylan Green. That's a big time hit from a senior leader, captain. 
center fielder, four-year player at the varsity level, playing his, his last game against North Quincy and his last game here at Adams Field. And he leads the game off with a bomb home run to put the Presidents up 1-0. Batting second is number nine, junior shortstop Dylan Green. First pitch from the board right down the middle for strike one. Second pitch is a fastball, come back to DeBoer, makes an easy PFP and gets the first out of the inning. And third, the first baseman, number 16, Joe Hennessy. Great job by the soft right, gives up the home run in the first batter and then gets a comeback or to set it right back in, comes back with two good strikes. Third bat for the Presidents is the first the first baseman, number 16, Joe Hennessy. Joe's also a junior. Team for North Quincy and for Quincy High tonight. You're going to see a lot of underclassmen playing. First pitch to Hennessy's fouled off for a force. Throw. Pitch the ball inside, even. One one from DeBoer is a fastball that Hennessy takes the other way, gets himself a single, single left field. Manning cleanup, the catcher, number thirteen, Coleman Ross. Presidents keep the pressure on DeBoer by putting another guy on base. They get a home run, a comeback, and a single. And now the catcher for, North, for Quincy High School, number 13, Coleman Ross at the plate. Ross is also a junior. <laughs> Strike one by Boer. Hennessy, what a two of a lead over first base. Doesn't show much of a threat right there. But no balls, one strike to Ross. DeBoer comes to the set. Throws over to first base. Hennessy looked like he was leaning a little bit. See if North Quincy makes any kind of adjustments. The 0 1 pitch is a ball high. 1 and 1 to Ross. Hennessy looked like he was getting some timing at first base here, gave that fake steal. Uh, most of the time people do that to try to get a jump off the pitcher to see if they can get his timing down. If he does have him timed, you might see him go on this pitch here. He does shorten his lead up a little bit. The 1-1 pitch from DeBoer is a fastball, ground ball to third base. Third baseman boots it, throws it over to first, and he throws it away. E6 there by the shortstop, and we have second and third with for the Presidents. What side do you want? What side do you want, Quincy? I am Number five, Zach Donahue. I went to Quincy. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Now up for the five, Zach Donahue. Zach Donahue on the mound tonight trying to help his own cause here in the first inning. We got one out second and third for the Presidents. Donahue's at the plate. DeBoer chooses to go from the stretch instead of the windup. The pitch is a fastball. Rope to right field. Line drive out. No tag by the by Hennessy at third base. And he leaves him there. That was a real good piece by Donahue but the right fielder was right there. The third baseman, number six, Nick Ferrara. Now we get two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. Quincy Presidents still have two runners on and a. The 0 pitch fouled straight back to the screen. No balls, one strike. Presidents are aggressive. Which is not, make, not letting. We can throw her. Change up over it. 
the 0-1 pitch to Ferrara. Swing and a miss. You got 0-2, two outs. First inning, one nothing. Quincy President on a lead off run by De Desmond. Ferrara is looking to do a uh, stop the bleeding. The 0-2 pitch, the ground ball, the shortstop. Vinny O'Leary picks it up, throws it to first, and that half of the inning is over. After half an inning, we got one nothing. Presidents Raiders coming to the plate for the first time. The board. Zach Donahue. Correction, pitching for the residents. Zach Donahue. We are back here at the bottom of the first inning. Presidents throw out no, uh, junior pitcher Zach Donahue behind the plate. His battery made his junior. Left, you off the way, curve balls and change ups. North Quincy should be a little bit patient here. And then once they come, they got a lefty, so I'm not sure if they're going to go first move or read, but I'm sure we'll get to see that. Coleman Ross sends it down with bottom of the Number 19, the right fielder, Scotty Ritz. Scotty! You get the. There it is. First pitch, fastball. Show when you get out there and you have a lead, you got something to work with. You got no balls, one strike to Ritz. A pitch from Donahue. Here's a single to left. He pulls the ball down the line, hits a single left field. And the Raiders are on. That is second. The designated hitter, number 13, Zach Taylor. Right away to see if uh, this is doing anything. Get but nothing happened. Donahue comes to the set. The pitch is a fastball down the middle for strike number one. Last Quincy North game where the North Quincy won, they were very aggressive on the base path. Anything that hit the dirt. The next pitch from Don, ball in the one ball, no strikes. I was, one ball, one strikes. No. Ritz. 
Ritz has a good lead at first base. It's high enough side for ball two. Two and one to Zach Taylor. Two and one, Ritz takes off, fly ball to right field. It is pretty deep and it is over the right fielder's head. Ritz is gonna come around to score. Taylor's heading for three, the relay to third base. is not in time, triple for Zach Taylor. I told you that when he got to the plate, he's only a sophomore, he's hitting second. It tells you how good he's playing. He just hits a ball over the right fielder's head and gets a triple to drive in Ritz and it is one to one. Raiders have a on third, nobody out yet. And third, the catcher, number three, Johnny Lynch. Stepping into the box now for the Red Raiders is the catcher. Johnny. Johnny started as a freshman two years ago. He's now a junior. Let's see if he can get the Raiders on top here. First pitch is a ball in the dirt. Good cross behind the plate. One ball, no strikes. Pitches a strike and he evens up at 1-1. One, one. Looked like he threw a curveball there and Lynch went for with that swing. Come out of his shoes a little bit. And Second base drives in the runner from third. You got a man on third with less than two outs. You want to go the other way. Lynch being a good hitter and a veteran player that he is, that's exactly what he did. And clean up the center fielder, number six, Liam Hines. One, and the net back for North Quincy is number six, the captain, center field. Liam Hines on the dirt. Right. Last time Quincy and North Quincy played, Liam Hines was the winning pitcher for the Raiders. Tonight he's in, he has the duty in center. The 1 0 pitch is low and in for two balls and no strikes. Liam's looking for one pitch right here for a fat ball of a belt. Middle half in, see if he can get it. The wind up from Donahue, the pitch ball, high and away, three balls, no strike. Rio delivery from Donahue. Is a fastball for strike one. Reno try to keep the pressure Quincy high and not giving him any out. The three one delivery is a fastball that Heinz pulls foul down the line. Away for ball four, Hines draws a walk. Hines walks to get on first base. The next batter for the North Quincy Red Raiders is number number twenty-three, the first. 
Hines working his lead at first, and Donahue goes right over there. Still no count as Donahue went right first base. Hines take pitches a curveball for strike number one, and Hines steals the base uncontested. You got a man on second with one out with Montero at the plate. North in the first inning. No balls, one strike to Montero. The pitch is away from ball number one. One and one. Montero gets the, uh, excuse me, Donahue gets the one he likes. The pitch is in there for fast strike number two. One ball, two strikes. You get Hines at second. One ball, two strikes with one out here in the first inning. Raiders are up two to one. On a huge. How ball? Try to beat him with a curveball there, and uh, Montero fouled it off. Good job at the plate by Montero following that ball off. Count remains one ball, two strikes. The delivery from Don Hughes, another curveball. Montero fouls it again, and the count remains one and two. The delivery from the one two pitch. He hits Montero. And we have first and second with only one out here in the first inning. And the Raiders are, have the pressure on again. Now getting in the box for the Raiders is number five, the shortstop Vinny O'Leary. Vinny calls time, doesn't like what he sees there. One out here in the first inning. Vinny O'Leary, the 0-0 delivery from Donahue. That fastball. Donahue's looking for a ground ball here to get a double play ball and get out of the inning. The pickoff attempt at second base. Hines goes back in standing. to the set. Again, North Quincy first and second. One out. Goes up high for a ball. We got one and one. Hines got himself a real good lead at second base. The pitch is fouled down the right field line. One ball, two strikes. 
double play ball would be best, but a strike would really well here for Don. Put the pressure back on the Raiders to get another hit before this inning is over. Donahue gets the 20 light. Pitch. Ooh, looks like a good pitch. Catcher Coleman Ross held it there for a second, but the umpire didn't like it. It's two and two. Zach Donahue comes to the to the delivery. Ball three and two. 3-2 pitch here. You might see the Raiders running here with one up on a 3-2 delivery. Looks like Coach Matt Edgley just gave him the, uh, the yep, takeoff sign. Donahue comes to the set. Fly ball, right field. Backing up as a right fielder. He drops it. Here comes Hines around third. Montero, Montero heading to third. Hines scores. It's three to one Raiders. That's two miscues by the right fielder in North for Quincy High. It's cost him three runs. And the Raiders continue to keep the pressure on. They have second and third with one up. 22 to third baseman Jackson Murphy at the plate. The 0-0 to Murphy. Foul straight back to the screen for strike number one. No balls, one strike to Murphy. Three to one North Quincy here with one out at the bottom of the first inning. We've had an eventful first inning for sure. Donahue comes to the set. Curveball for strike number two. Murphy here with two strikes looking to just choke up and punch the ball to the right side and get Montero in from third base. I'll tell you what, any single scores two. Vinny O'Leary at second has some good wheels. He has a really good lead out there at second base. Nobody from Quincy High keeping him close. The 0-2 pitch to Jackson Murphy is a ball. One ball, two tricks. Jackson's got to be thinking opposite field here. See it long and just hit the ball to the right side. The pitch high and away for two and two. Donahue doing a fine job for the presidents. He just had two mishaps in right field. Balls that should have been caught and getting them out of the inning. No runs. But now extra hard. The 2-2 pitch to Murphy. Ball in. Three balls, two strikes. Donahue gets the one he likes. A 3-2 pitch. Ball four low and in and the bases are loaded. Rick Beach with a well-timed mound visit here. As the bases are loaded, we've got a couple errors, a couple walks. Just out there settling his pitcher down. We got the bases loaded here with one out. Zach Donahue is going to go from the windup. The first pitch. 
is inside for ball number one. One ball, no strikes. Donahue gets a single up the middle. It scores Montero. Vinny O'Leary coming around. The throw from Desmond is offline. Hides goes to second. Jackson Murphy goes to third. And the Red Raiders are up 5-1 to one here in the first inning with only one up. The Red Raiders are keeping the pressure on Quincy High here. Good single up the middle there by Hines. And now stepping in to the batter's box is the second baseman, number 16, Robert Broderick. Takes the He's up in the count already. One ball, no strikes. Looks like the infield for Quincy High is back. Jackson Murphy at third base. Brendan Hines at second for the Raiders. Delivery. Ground ball to second base, which is going to drive. They get a run in. The Raiders get another run and make it six to one here in the first inning. With that ground ball to second base, the North Quincy Red Raiders have successfully batted around in the first inning. And the leadoff batter is up again. Number 19, the right body Ritz. Raiders have two outs. Oh. And they're saying it hit him. And he's going to first. The Raiders is thing up with a triple to right field in his first at bat. Number 13, the sophomore, the native hitter, Zach Taylor. Ritz was on first the last time Taylor was up and he hit a triple over the right fielder's head. Let's see what he does this time. Kurt Hines at third, Ritz at first. First pitch fastball down the middle for strike one. Donahue comes to the set. Two outs here in the first inning. Ritz takes off. Fastball, number strike two. Coleman Ross throws down and it's cut off by the second baseman. And now we got second and third with two outs for the Red Raiders. Zach Taylor gets caught looking. But not before the Red Raiders put up six runs and they go up six to one. Top of the second, President's coming to the plate.
Back here for the top of the second inning as Quincy High hopes to put a little pressure on and get a couple runs back. Stepping in, batter's box is number 14, senior Matt Kelly. DeBoer with the pitch, fastball low. Tough spot here for DeBoer. He sat for a long time in the bottom half of the inning. He's got to come right back out here and throw strikes again. And again, the maturity of a sophomore being his first time playing varsity baseball. Let's see what happens. The 1-0 pitch he evens up with a fastball strike to make it 1-1. One and one. The 1-1 one, one pitch from DeBoer to Matt Kelly is a line drive to the second baseman. Caught, he is up. Good piece of hitting by Kelly, but right at somebody. Now batting for the Presidents is the right field, the number two, Anderson. He had an eventful ball first inning. The senior, and let's see if he can make up with a big hit here. He takes a first pitch from DeBoer for strike one. It's very tough playing in the outfield when the when the uh, the wind is swirling like it is. Uh, it's overcast. If you're looking at the flags right now, they are blowing straight out. That ball gets up in the air. It can carry at any point in time. It's easy for me to sit up here and say he had a tough half inning, but. You know, it's, it's not easy out there in any position in the outfield, especially when those flags are blowing like they are. But like I said, Peterson is his last Quincy North Quincy game and his last game here at Adams Field. It's 1-2 to number two. And the board gets the strikeout, swinging, blocked. Blocked by the catcher, throw to first for the second out of the inning. And nine, the second baseman, number four, Kellen Kopp. Now batting is number four, Kellen Kopp. Two outs, nobody on here. The presidents are at the plate. DeVore goes high and inside for ball number one. For one, e one and one. The one one delivery by DeBoer is a ground ball up high over the third baseman's head for a single. And Jackson Murphy was playing in on the grass there uh, with Comp at the plate, and it cost him as he bounced a ball over his head. With a man on first and two outs, the leadoff batter steps into the plate, Devin Desmond, and about 15 minutes ago, he hit one up out of the ballpark into the batting cage. Let's see if he can do it again. I don't think the board's going to give anything too good to hit here, but with a six run, with a five run lead, let's see what he does. Again, Devin Desmond, a senior. Going to Plymouth State next year. I hope I'm right with that. Another check in at first base for DeBoer. Just a coaching point, and I know his father will be listening and watching because he coaches with me in the summer. You're up five runs in the second inning. Throw the ball over the plate. The OO -O to Devin Desmond. And he hits a single to right field. Kellen Cope is going to stay at second base. Scotty Ritz comes up and hits his cut, does a nice job coming up and hitting his cutoff, man. Devin Desmond is two for two. Batting now for the Presidents is number nine, the shortstop, Dylan Green. 
You got first and second with two outs here in the bottom of the top of the second inning and a six to one lead by the North Quincy Red Raiders. The pitch to Green's a fastball down the middle for strike one. Adams Field's filling up here. A lot of parents, again, with the seniors being their last game against each other, the last game at Adams Field. Parents are starting to show up. Kids are starting to show up to show their support. The ball and the shortstop boots it. And we have a collision at second base. Devin Desmond's going to continue to third. Is going to score. We got timeout. We had a collision at second base. I'm not sure what happened. I'm sure Angelie's going to talk about interference and stuff like that. Let's, uh, hands at six to two. Good show of sportsmanship by Devin Desmond shaking Vinny O'Leary's hand there. And the play stink and the presidents come up with a, a run to make it six to two. Batting third, the first baseman, number 16, Joe Hennessy. Dylan Green pretty are fast you, at first base. North, we'll see if the presidents try to do something here to get Desmond in from third. And with two outs of first baseman steps in, Joe Hennessy, number 16, junior. Him right here. That is a balk, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why they didn't call it. Maybe he stepped off the mound. But I don't think he did. Kyle DeBoer comes to the set, throws strike one to Joe Hennessy. Again, here we got two outs. In a six to two game, Quincy High not going away quietly. Keeping the pressure on the Raiders here in the second inning. The 0-1 pitch is a flare to left field. That video Leary catches. And it ends the inning and it ends the threat for the Quincy Presidents. After one and a half, six to two oh, yes. Raiders. They were at a time. To the I think that's what everybody did for a while. My friends would come over, we'd play video games, we'd make the and play on the PS4 and stuff. But now I have like, such a waste of time. I, don't, <laughs> I, have, I have like an X, I have the newest Xbox. I don't even play it. So, like you could play the remote with your house. Yeah, I could, yeah, I could. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. You could talk to them, you could oh, have it. That's an addictive. Oh, well, I mean, it's just like. That's a my guy. Yeah, it's like, it's like what you do on the weekends, you can talk to your friends if you're not with them. We would, we would basically go to the Y, we'd like play basketball, and then we'd go home and play video games together, and then see each other in school. But now that that's over, I'm just like, all right, what am I doing with my time now? I'm not gonna be playing video games anymore. Yeah. Like Ryan's has a he has every system, he has every, if you set a game for him, he would know what you're talking about. He has a whole stash, he has a room, he has Wii's, Xboxes, GameCube, everything. PlayStation, yeah. He's a, he's a... I was one of them to work for that, that level of game. I had a Atari and Tom in the beginning, they just it was ridiculous now to see him. And I wasn't really great at them, and I'd never been into it. But I could see how it could be addictive to the younger guys. Look. It's also competitive, so we get to watch it. Yeah, yeah. Here we go back for the bottom of the second inning as Coleman Ross throws the ball down. Coming to the play. Number three, the catcher, Johnny Lynch. Batting third, the catcher, number three, Johnny Lynch. Six to two. 
six to two North Quincy bottom of the second inning their second at bat Zach Donahue still on the mound for the presidents oh yeah that's big now they just they stream the game so the kids watch the actual players like actually play the game how it's supposed to be No balls, one strike to Johnny Lynch to wind up the delivery from Zach Don. There's a curveball in the dirt that Lynch goes and fishes for. We got 0-2. Zach Donahue has the one he likes. The 0-2 delivery is another curveball. Hit down the third baseline that rolls foul. The count will remain 0-2. Why are we going this way? As I said, Adams Field filling in here with fans, uh, parents of players, and classmates. Here to support their fellow classmates, whether they're seniors or underclassmen. Showing by, by Quincy Public Schools here. I see both athletic directors, both principals, plenty of members of the park, park and rec department. And I will say, I said it before the game, Adams Field has not looked this good in a long time. Another foul ball by Lynch, and the count remains 0-2. Donahue with the pitch. Ground ball, diving stop by, but he does not throw it over to first base, as Johnny Lynch was going to beat it out. But a great. The captain of the North Quincy Red Raiders, football standout, number six, Lamb Hines comes to the plate. He won the Patriot League MVP this year for the football season. And he's the captain of the baseball team. No outs with Hines at the plate. Donahue throws to first. Lynn heads back in safe. The first pitch. Nope, he goes to first again. <laughs> Comes to the set. Single the right field by Lamb Hines. Johnny Lynch kind of caught no man's land. He was looking behind him, not picking up his third base coach, coming around second. Should have been staring at Joe Edge, trying to figure out what to do. He got caught no man's land. No harm, no foul, no outs. You don't want to make the first out of the base. Proper decision. The first Alex Montero come. The 0 1 delivery from Donahue's a ball away. <laughs> to even the count of one and one. No outs by North Quincy and up four runs in the second inning. This is definitely not a bunting situation. This is a situation where you let your uh, there and swing the bat, see how far he can hit. The 1 1 pitch, and that's what he did. He hard as he could there, and the ball was a little bit low, and he missed it. Really nice swing there by Montero. 
Donahue just beat him. The ball was just a little bit low. Hi, Sammy. One and two to Montana. <laughs> He hits a ground ball to first base that Hennessy picks up, steps on first base, and records the first out. Hines gets to second and gets to third, but Quincy High records an out. We got one man, uh, two men on, one out. Batting six, the shortstop, number five, Jenny O'Leary. And with one out, man on second and third, Quincy. Idea. I'll go out after this half inning. We're back. Two balls, no strikes. Danny O'Leary with one out here in the bottom of the second inning. Ball low and in. Three and oh. Jackson Murphy on deck. The 3-0 delivery. Wayne draws a walk. Base is low. But two come to the plate. Batting seventh, the third baseman, number 22, Jackson Murphy. Number 22, Jackson Murphy, the third baseman, comes to the plate. We got one out here in the box. On in. Nobody here is wearing a mask. I walked in and I was like, there. Donahue goes from the windup, pitch ball up and away for ball number one. One ball, no strikes to Murphy. The pitch is up and in for ball two. Why are we going inside of this? 57 Two balls, no strikes for Jackson Murphy. He's looking dead red right here. He's looking one pitch. He wants a fastball, middle in, about belt high. See how far he can hit it. And he doesn't get it. It's low and away. Three balls, no strikes. Good plate discipline by Jackson. Rio delivery. Jackson taken up the way. No, he's not. Rio, he swings, hits a single to right field, drives in two runs. Jackson Murphy gets into second base, standing up. Conventional baseball says that three balls, no strikes, you take. There's nothing conventional about this game. So he swings 3-0, and hits pull the right field, dropping two runs. North Quincy Red Raiders are up eight to ten in the bottom of the second with still only one out. We got a pitch and change. Thank you. 
Pitching change for the Presidents. Rick Beach has brought in his junior, number 16, Joe Hennessy. If Hennessy can stop the bleeding here. We have the box for the Raiders. The left fielder, number two, Brendan Hines. He comes in in a tough situation here at the bottom of the second with one out. Man on second. Third, Jackson Jackson Murphy is at second. Vinny O'Leary is at third. Slide for strike one. It's connections too. Like, oh, I saw, I, I saw your dad, or I coached your dad. Yeah, one of the great players. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's how I, I'm like. These guys are so connected. I'm just like this lone guy. <laughs> The 0-1 delivery from Hennessy is a curveball in there for strike two. Again, the infield is in for the Raiders, uh, for the Presidents. It's second and third. One out here in the bottom of the second inning. We've played not even two innings of baseball. We're already an hour in. Strike three looking. Great pitch by Hennessy there. We have a pinch hitter for the Red Raiders. Pinch hitting is number seven, uh, 27, senior Declan Geary. He is pinch hitting for Robert Broderick. I would say that Robert Broderick would re enter and go back to second base. I think that Declan Geary is First, there's a wild pick that got to the backstop. Rostin get a chance to block it. And the ninth run has come in for the Red Raiders. Got the whole fleet. Two outs out. here in the second inning. Jackson. Hennessy comes to the set. We're going to ball away. She <laughs> <laughs> comes to the set. Oh. It yeah. brings the team. All 10 of those runs charged to the starting pitcher for the, the Quincy High Presidents, Jack Donahue. Yeah. And it is 10 to 2 in the second inning with two outs. Declan Geary hits a single to center field. And again, the Raiders are on the bases, keeping the pressure on. Senior Declan Geary. And the same thing that used to happen to me in high school, he gets pinch run for. 
It's actually a re-entry. Roger Broderick was playing second base, so it's not as bad as what used to happen to me. The Red Raiders have turned over their lineup again, and at the plate is the right field at number 19, Scotty Ritz. Hennessy goes to first base. Yeah, I know. I haven't been, yeah, I haven't been paying so far, so they're going to give it to me for free. If nobody else will, I'll just stay there. Take that, and then you can run out to strategy. Hennessy comes to the set, finds the one he likes, goes to first again. Money after when they graduate, they give him like a thousand dollars. The first pitch is a ball up away. No, this guy, he was, he was a, yeah. But the kids, they were like, are you serious? Then these, this truck pulls up and they just get these envelopes. And when you get the diploma, they just give you an envelope. The 1-0 oh pitch is up high to risk to make it 1-0. Oh. This thing has along with it that said, I want you guys to take another Two balls, um, to the right fielder. Whatever, a separate check. Robert Broderick bat on first else. base. So that you can After Declan Gear came in, and shit form and hit a single up the middle. So, yeah. He, That's next level. Yeah, he was, I, I heard that. I the pitch like, is strike like number one by Hennessy. Two balls and one strike. We got two outs here in the bottom of the second inning of a 10-2 to two game, North Quincy. She was on the retreat, though. This was last week. Last week, and I was foul ball back screen by Ritz. I was like, I'm graduating as soon as I'm doing two. Was Quincy College? In baseball yeah, terms, we got deuces wild. It's two and two in the second inning with two outs. We tried to count, and I was like, how much money do they have? Because they had extra as well. I was thinking about going. <laughs> no, they had I think like 300, 300 people. The two-two pitch, the fly ball to right field, and it's caught by Zach Donahue to end the inning. After two complete here at Adams Field, the Raiders 10, the Presidents 2. Presidents coming to the plate. here just a quick tip uh, quick point for anybody who's wondering the high school baseball tournament this year is an opt-in tournament you do not have to win X amount of games you just have to declare that you are playing in the tournament and you want to play in the tournament um, opt-in by June 2nd and North Quincy has opt-in Quincy High has not yet they're still waiting to see what they want to do but North Quincy will be playing in this year's AA baseball high school turn state tournament uh, I talked to them after me and Tony were talking to them and I was like, did you, did they like, talk to you? He was like, it was a surprise, so it was awesome. So he just like, just, he was moving into a new apartment, the guy's on, and he got there and like, his sister stayed with him for the weekend and helped him move in. So I was like, his sisters and Pastor Mike helped out and they just put it together for him. Moving off on the presidents. The catcher, number 13, Coleman Ross. Here we are on the top of the third. The visiting Quincy presidents down 10 to 2. The leadoff man is the catcher, number 13, Coleman Ross. Kyle DeBoer still on the mound for the Raiders. See what kind of inning he has here. Quincy put up a run in each, the, both the first and second inning. First pitch is a strike. Fastball down the middle for strike two. 
DeBoer has Ross at 0-2 right away. The lights are on here at Adams Field, and as I said before, the crowd keeps filing in. We got a lot of students here, a lot of parents, people coming to show support for the last Quincy North game of the year, the last home game for both teams. Yeah, the first the first pitch of this game, the first the first batter hit a home run. Yeah, I was surprised. I was sitting over here and I had to move the camera over to the home run. The one-two pitch to Ross is high, a two-and-two. It's beautiful though. I was telling my mom, like, this looks like a, a field that would be in Florida with all the trees and stuff. It's like blown around. Nice. It's a pitch by DeBoer. Ball low. How's everybody at home? The three two pitch by DeBoer is low for ball number four and the Raiders and the Presidents have a leadoff walk. Number five, Zach Donahue now steps in the batter's box, went from the pitching mound to right field. We have a pinch runner at first base for the Presidents. They, they pinch ran for Coleman Ross, and he'll re-enter back in behind the plate. That would be number seven, Ryan LaRoche, a senior at Quincy High School. Having good role models, like, you know, different people from, from the school or wherever it may be, like, that's, that's really great. Right. Yeah. So do they know what they want to do or are they are they still talking about? Uh, The ball throws to first, LaRoche slides in safely. Two balls, no strikes. The board gets the one he wants. The pitch. Fastball, strike one. The board gets in the count. Two balls, one strike to Zach Donahue. Strike two from DeBoer. Evens the count at two balls and two strikes. The 2 2 pitch from Kyle. His ball up and away. Three balls, two strikes. I mean, I don't know what you can do with it without that. You probably do on like your own. Probably no reception in the ocean. No yeah. reception. <laughs> oh, really? So no service. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ryan LaRoche gets his lead at first base. The board comes to the set. And that's ball four that gets to the backstop. And the presidents have first and second with nobody out. Well, I did the same thing when I was in here. That is six. The right fielder. Stepping into the batter's box for the Quincy Presidents is junior number six, Nick Ferrara. I know, I'm excited. The first pitch by DeBoer to Ferrara is a fastball down the middle for strike one. 
We have no outs here in the top of the third inning. The North Quincy Red Raiders are up 10-2. to First and second, nobody out for the Presidents. The second pitch by DeBoer to Ferraris popped straight up in the air. It's probably going to hit me in the head. And it did. No balls, two strikes. <laughs> oh, two to Ferraris, a pitch out, they throw it down to first base, and they have Zach Donahue in a rundown. And he avoids it. He avoids it, and uh, unfortunately here, they called him out, and in high school baseball, there is no replay. Zach is out. Instead of first and second with nobody out, we now have a man on third with one out. Ferrara still at the plate, the 2-2 pitch. His strike three looking. Running seventh, the left fielder, number 14, Matt Kelly. Two outs here for the Presidents with a man on third. Number 14, senior Matt Kelly stepping into the plate. Ryan LaRoche at third, first pitch by DeBoer. One ball, no strikes, a delivery to Matt Kelly. Is a ground ball to second base. Eat by Robert Broderick. Robert Broderick thrown over to first base. And that half of the inning is over. Even though Quincy had first and second and no outs, they don't cross anybody over the plate. And the score remains 10 to 2. We're going to the bottom of the third. We are back here at the top, bottom of the third inning of a 10-2 game. North Quincy's up and leading off for the Red Raiders is a pinch hitter. Number 12, Brandon O'Leary. Hennessy still on the mound for the presence. The 0-1 pitch, he fouls one straight, and it's 0-2. Hennessy to the wind up, the 0-2 delivery is a ball in the dirt. 
One. He strikes. The one two pitch is in the dirt to make it two and two. We have another. Terry is a ball that's hit foul down the left field line and out of play. Count remains two and two. with the pitch three looking that's Hennessy's second strikeout in two innings batting third the catcher number three Johnny Lynch now stepping into the batter's box for the Red Raiders the catcher number three Johnny Lynch a pitch from Hennessy Johnny Lynch failed that Zach Donahue tracks down for out number two. Quick inning so far for the Presidents. Let's see if they can get out of it with a, a, a low pitch count for Hennessy. Maybe builds a little bit of momentum. Then the center fielder, number six, Liam Hines. Stepping into the batter's box is the captain for the Red Raiders, number six, center fielder, Liam Hines. Ball, curveball, ball one in the dirt. The 1 0 pitch is away for ball two to Hines. Two balls, no strikes. See the wind up ball back up the middle, hit by Hennessy over to Dylan Green. He throws the ball to first base. Uh, the guy at first called him up, but the home plate up is coming down the line saying safe. They're going to talk about it. Cue the Jeopardy music. Safe. The call is safe. The first baseman definitely dropped the ball. Um, and that the home plate ump was right on top of it. Batting fifth, the first baseman, number 23, Alex Montero. Red Raiders have a guy on base again here in the third inning. Obviously, they've had runners every inning as they have 10 runs through two and a half, two and two thirds. At the plate is Montero, first pitch swing and lines out to the shortstop, Dylan Green, and the Raiders do not score in the third inning. The Presidents throw up a zero. It's 10 to two, we're going to the top of the fourth.
pitching in relief for the Raiders. Number 28, Kevin Pritchard. We are back here for the top of the fourth inning and the uh, they closed the book on DeBoer for the night. He had two Ks. He gave up two runs. And into two in relief for the North Quincy Red Raiders is number 28, Kevin Pritchard. Batting eight for the Presidents. Number 18, Daniel Freeman. Quincy High sending number 18, Daniel Freeman, to the plate to lead off here in the fourth inning. Wind still howling in the outfield, blown straight out. Those flags are, are, are moving out there. Anything up in the air could be an adventure. Pitch by Pritchard is a ball. Look good from here. The wind ball up in the air. Freeman for for Quincy High is also a junior. Again, I mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, the very young. Stierich number two by Pritchard with a fastball. Ground ball to second base. Broderick at second base. Picks it up, throws it to first for the first out of the inning. Batting ninth, the second baseman, number four, Kevin Cobb. Second baseman, number four, Kellen Cobb steps into the batter's box here for the Presidents. There's one out in the fourth. The pitch by Pritchard is ball one up high. The 0 1 pitch is also up high to make it two balls and no hooks. Last batter fell behind and then had to count. Not a good way to keep your pitch count down. You get away, and as I say that, he throws the third ball. It's 3-0. Two batters in a row, 3-0. When you come in in relief as a, as a pitcher, they're, they're looking for you to come in and throw strikes. And now he's got to do nothing but throw strikes, or he's going to have some walks and you know, drive his pitch count up, and he's going to get out the game. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We have a walk. Now coming to the plate is the captain of Quincy. The center fielder, number three, Dev Dev The first pitch. The lone spark for Quincy High so far uh, as he let off the game with a, with a home run on top of the nine cages. Pritchard checks in at first base. Cop slides back in safe. Pitch to Desmond is a single opposite field to left field. And we have first and second with one out with the number two hitter, Dylan Green, coming to the plate. Batting second, the shortstop. Number nine, Dylan Green. A lot of the North Quincy and Quincy High softball players starting to file in. The game must be down, done down at Mitchell McCoy. First pitch is a strike by Pritchard. He had Quincy North softball tonight, Quincy North baseball tonight. Second pitch is fouled on the right field line for a strike. We got one and one to Dylan Green. Dylan, the junior shortstop for the Quincy Presidents. 
Pritchard comes to the set. The pitch is in the dirt. You got one ball, two strikes. First and second, one out. The pitch to Green Ooh. is a fly ball, hits the left center gap. Oh, yeah. That Hines tracks down, hits his cutoff man, and nobody advances. We got two outs here. Batting third for the Presidents, the pitcher, number 16, Joe Hennessy. Two outs and two on. Number 16, Joe Hennessy, steps into the batter's box. Started the day at first base. Has ended up on the pitching mound. Has thrown a zero. A zero for the Presidents. So far, he's in the third inning. Let's see if he can get a hit and help his own cause. The pitch is a strike. They try to throw behind the runner. And he slides back in safe. The pitch from Pritchard is a strike. <laughs> Hennessy with a fly ball, out of play. I was gonna, I was gonna catch it over you. The pitch by Pritchard to Hennessy. Hits a ground ball to first base. Pritchard covering. Nice job with the PFP. He calls him safe. And, and Kellen Cobb tries to score from third and gets thrown out of the plate. Great throw by Pritchard to, to end the inning. Down to Johnny Lynch at home. Johnny Lynch does a great job of, of blocking the plate. And they get thrown out. And after three and a half, it's 10-2, the Raiders. As we go into the bottom of the fourth, to, to recap how the top of the fourth ended, there was a ground ball to first base, fielded by Montero. Pritchard was going over to cover first, and the batter beat it out. Kellen Cope, who was at second base, Kellen Kopp, who was at second base, tried to round third and score, and Pritchard had the wherewithal to listen to his teammates yell four, turned through a strike to Johnny Lynch at the plate, and they gunned down Kopp at home plate to end the top of the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth with Hennessy still on the mound. And the second and the shortstop, Vinny O'Leary, going to lead the inning off. Batting six, the shortstop, number five, Vinny O'Leary. The first pitch from Hennessy is a ball away.
Ball two is a fastball away from. The 2-0 pitch is a ground ball to first base. First baseman fields it, steps on first, and we have the first out of the inning. Looks like Danny Freeman, number 18, is now in first base for the Presidents. Batting seventh, the third baseman, number 22, Jackson Murphy. With one out and nobody on, number 22, Jackson Murphy steps to the plate. The first pitch for Hennessy, fouled straight back for strike. The 0 1 yeah, pitch from Hennessy. Jackson Murphy ground ball to third base. Danny Fryer picks it up, moves it across the diamond for the second out of the inning. Two outs and nobody on for Hennessy. President's looking for another quick 2 3 inning. And stepping into the plate is the left field, number two, Ben Hines. The first pitch from Hennessy is a ground ball to the shortstop. It gets through the hole. And we have a single by the Red Raiders. That's right. Right nine, the second baseman, number 16, Robert. Roderick. With a man on first and two outs, the second baseman steps into the batter's box, number 16, Robert Broderick. Hines with a good lead at first base, and Hennessy immediately throws it over there. I believe in high school sport, high school baseball, it's 10 runs after five innings. So I'm not sure if the Red Raiders are trying to get to 12 here and to see what they can do. Pitch by Hennessy is a ball away. With one ball, no strikes. The pitch is fastball in the dirt that was swung on and missed and got to the backstop. It's one and one now to Broderick. And Hines advances to second base on the wild pitch. Two outs here as the Raiders are looking to add to their 10 to two lead. The pitch by Hennessy is a soft curve on the outside for strike number two. Hennessy comes to the set, the one, two. is a ball in the dirt to make it two and two. Two and two with two outs of a 10-2 game in the bottom of the second inning, at bottom of the fourth inning with Hines at second base. The pitch is hit to right field and Zach Donahue is there to make the out. And the Raiders do not put up any runs. It's two zeros in a row for Hennessy. Very good innings. One in relief and one that he started. We're going to the fifth of a 10-2 game. Quincy North. Quincy North. Quincy North. Quincy North.
Raiders that close the book on Pritchard. No runs given up. Now pitching is the right fielder, number 19, Scotty Ritz. Leading off the inning for the Presidents, the catcher, number 13, Coleman Ross. Coleman Ross steps in to lead off the top of the fifth inning and try to get something going here for the Presidents. First pitch, first pitch by Ritz is a ball high. A second pitch of fastball right down the middle for strike number one. It's going to be 10 to 2 in the morning. The one pitch is a ball up, two balls, one strike. That's the only time that that guy produces. He's the only time he's able to work. Saturday. Well, it's just a person. Everything's like so convenient. The two one pitch is also up, three balls, one strike. Literally right across this, it's right on the same side of the street of Family Dollar. The 3-1 to Coleman Ross, oh, fastball yes. down the middle for three and two. Yeah, man, the left side of the If you're looking at Family Dollar, it's on that same side. Okay, on that same side. The 3-2 pitch, Coleman Ross Jeez. hits a ball to left field, hits a ball to the fence in left That's field, and gets a, a double out of it. Oh. Stand up double for Coleman Ross. And the Presidents have some action. Man on second, no out in the fifth inning. The right fielder, number five, Zach Donahue. I hope this guy is cool. I hope he's a good guy. It needs to go well. You got a pinch runner uh, for... Uh, for Quincy Hyatt, second base for Coleman Ross. He will obviously re-enter and go back in behind the plate. In high school, in high school, there's a there's a courtesy runner for the catcher, so he can be taken out as many times while while he's on base. It's called a courtesy runner and can always re-enter back in behind home plate. It's the only position that you can do that for. Running at second base for Quincy Presidents is number 12, David Noble. We got two balls and one strike. The right fielder. I wrapped it in front of my friends. And they were like, they gave me some tips on it. And they were like, that's good. They're good on that one. And I was just like, all right. Zach Donahue hits a fly ball to right field. The new right fielder is under it. Catches it, comes up, hits his cut. Nobody advances. I apologize for not knowing who the new right fielder is, but I will pay attention as soon as he That's runs in. Now with one man out, David Noble still at second base. Nick Ferrara steps into the plate, number six, takes ball number one. Mom, I've been practicing for a long time, for like years. I, because you're working the 1-0 -oh pitch there's a ball in the dirt for ball number two that scoots to the backstop David Noble advances 90 feet we got a man on there with one out for the presidents and this is always the fear as a coach you're up 10 to 2 you're trying to get some guys some time you put people in different positions and then you know your reliever doesn't come in and and get it done right away. It's 
you know, it's the right move by Edgley to, to get some other arms in and, she, she really you know, make it. sure she people really are getting their really innings, but this is always the fear. Strike one to Ferrara, like got a two balls, she one strike. Like, uh, Man on third with one out, 10-2 Raiders in the fifth Jackie inning. She's like, my cat does not go for people. Her cat was like sitting on my lap, like scratching my pants. I was like, wow. But I didn't know my voice back then, but it was good. I, I have a lot of- Ball three, low in. One strike to Ferrara. I'm like, from where I was, like even when I made that, I'm like, so far up and away from where I was. Ball four up high, and we have a walk. President's first and third with one out. With one out and two men on, number seven, senior Ryan LaRoche steps into the plate, uh, steps into the batter's box. Scotty Ritz comes to the set. Back ball down the middle for strike one. The 0 1 pitch to LaRoche, he throws the ball to. to LaRoche, it's down for ball two, two balls once. Two balls once. Ritz with the delivery, ball number two blows. out in the fifth inning. Run corners for the Presidents. The pitch from Ritz. Strike oh, three looking. Yeah. Ritz gets right in the road, striking out looking. On curveball. The right fielder, number 18, Daniel Freeman. And with two outs for the Presidents and runners at the corners. Dan Freeman steps into the batter's box. Now throw over to first. They almost had him there. That was close. Good snap throw by Rizzo. Base. Ritz comes to the set. Steve Wright one. He throws the ball away. The score is 10 to 2. What does the runner at first base mean? Yes, he almost got him the last time. But what does that run mean? So now it's 10 to 3? What does that do? Concentrate the batter at the plate. You got two outs. You blew a fastball by this kid already. Yeah, the new apartment will be great. But don't think that just because I'm not saying anything, I'm just respecting your workspace. Yeah. 
ball by Ritz. He's got him 0-2. The 0-2 from Ritz. Strike three. Curtain ball swinging. Ritz has two strikeouts that inning. One looking, one swinging. We, we come on the fifth. 10 to three, North Quincy, and they're coming to the plate. Red Raiders up 10 to three. Number 19, top of the order, pitcher, Scotty Ritz. Hennessy still on the mound for the Presidents. The pitcher, number 19, Scotty Ritz. I believe if North Quincy gets three runs here, out the President game, it's over. Scotty Ritz, first pitch swinging. Desmond trying to track it down, gives a great effort, but the ball falls behind him. Ritz hustles into second base for a leadoff double. Great bid by Desmond in center field, but just came up a little short. You didn't see the ball coming? Batting next for the Raiders. Number 12, Brandon O'Leary. Now in the DH spot for the Red Raiders is number 12 Lucky. senior, Brandon O'Leary. This is dull for it. <laughs> no outs, man on second. First pitch was fouled straight back for strike number one. The second pitch is ball inside. That's why was hilarious. Hennessy comes to the set, the 1 1 delivery. Ooh. O'Leary swings ground ball to second base. Throws him out, and Scotty Ritz comes all the way around to score to make it 11-3, North Quincy. That is an unbelievable hustle play. Scotty Rich was at second base. There was a routine ground ball hit to second. He ran hard to third and all the way around to score with no throw. Number three, Johnny Rich. Great job there by Scotty Rich, great hustle. At the, at the plate now for the Raiders is number three, the catcher. Lynch, who hits a single to left field. Uh, North Quincy definitely has the bats to, to put up two here. and We'll see what happens. Batting cleanup, the center fielder, number six, Liam Hines. Number six now steps into the batter's box for the Raiders. The center fielder, Liam Hines. Fastball away to Hines for ball number one. Hennessy after two good innings, he's laboring here a little bit. He gave up a double, a ground, you know, ground ball to second, which scored a run, and then another single. He's got Hines at the plate. One ball, no strikes. Fastball for strike number one. Hennessy evens up the count at one and one to Hines. Hennessy comes to the set. I'm not sure he stopped, but it doesn't matter because Hines bloops a single in. Johnny Lynch stops at second base. And we got first and second with one out. Batting fifth. 
the big shooter. The big Number one. Number 10, Brandon McGordy. <laughs> Edgerly pinch hits for Alex Montero at number 10, Brendan McGordy. And he hits a ground ball to first that gets by the first baseman. We had a ground ball. We had a ground ball to first that could by the first baseman. And now the Raiders have the bases loaded with number five, Vinny O'Leary at the plate. The shortstop, number five, Vinny O'Leary. The Presidents have pulled the infield in in an 11-3 game with one out here in the fifth inning. Number five, Vinny O'Leary coming to the plate. Hennessy is going from the windup. The pitch, ball one outside. One ball, no strikes to number five, Vinny O'Leary. The pitch, big swing and a miss there by O'Leary to even the count at one and one. Ball two away, tried a soft curveball in the outside corner and missed it. Hennessy with the wind up, ball away, three balls, one strike. Soupy Campbell in the building tonight. The three one pitch is down the middle for fastball, strike two. We got a three two count to Vinny O'Leary, one out in the fifth inning, 11 to three. Red Raiders, they got the base plug. Vinny O'Leary, line drive to third base, caught, steps on okay, third for a double play, right. and the Presidents get out of the inning. Vinny O'Leary hits an absolute rocket down to third base, and Dan Ferrara catches it, steps on third to double up the Raiders. Quincy High gets out of the jam. It's 11-3, top of the sixth. Welcome back to the top of the sixth inning and the Raiders are going with another pitcher using a lot of arms tonight again. I love the strategy by Edgerly, just get guys innings and 
get people pitching. You got the tournament coming up. You want to make sure everybody has innings. Um, pitching number 23, Alex Montero, went from first base to the pitcher's mound. Lynch, he looks, still looks to be behind the plate. Pritchard at first. For the presence to lead off the inning number 12, David Noble. Ball one high. Fastball, Noble foul straight back to even the count one and one. Montero's pitch, a fastball high. Two balls, one strike. The 2 1 pitch to Noble. Fly ball, looks like Vinny O'Leary is under it at shortstop. And Vinny O'Leary with a nice catch backing up for the, to record the first out of the inning for the Raiders. Up next for the Presidents, the center fielder. In the sixth inning here of this game, this could be Devin Desmond's last at bat in a Quincy High uniform. The pitch by Montero. Devin Desmond hits a ground ball to first base. It eats up Pritchard at first. He recovers and steps on the back for the out. Devin Desmond dives into first base to try to beat it out. But Pritchard makes a great play, great recovery, and gets a second out of the inning. Running second, the shortstop. Number nine, Dylan Green. Now stepping in. The batter's box for the president is number nine. The shortstop, Dylan Green. First pitch, Montero comes very, very close. Ah, hits Dylan Green. And Dylan Green takes his base. I think the referee was like, that was too close. I don't know, maybe it did. Batting third. Number 16, Joe Hennessy. That pitch just got away from Montero. Those guys have been friends for a long time. They play in the same summer team in the summer. They, they know each other well. There's nothing going on there. Joe Hennessy steps in the plate. We get two outs with a man on first. Fastball away for ball number one. One ball, no strikes. The pitch is up high for ball two. It seems that uh, Edgley has kind of emptied his bench and played everybody, and I don't, I don't think Beach has. Beach has still had pretty much the same start as a couple pinch runners, but that's about it. Montero gets a strike. The next pitch, he kind of rushes a little bit, goes three and one. He should slow down a little bit and just get that ball in there. You hear the expression all the time from coaches, just play catch. Uh, I, I think he threw it first. 
Montero comes to the set, 3-1 to Hennessy. Strike number two. Three. Joe Hennessy mean at first. Umpire doesn't like something. I don't know, maybe the umpire doesn't realize that these guys all know each other and they're really not talking trash, they're just kind of razzing each other. It's part of the game, Blue. It's 11-3. 3-2 pitch, foul straight back. We gotta do it again. Montero comes to the set, the pit, the strike three. Almost there. Quincy High gets one runner on, on a on hit by pitch. Strandsum doesn't score. After five and a half, it's 11-3 Red Raiders. Jared Adams field for the sixth inning. There's a ton of kids behind the, the North Quincy High fence there rooting on the, the, the Raiders. Hennessy still in the game for the Presidents. Jackson Murphy is leading off number 22, the third baseman. He's quickly down 0-2. Ball low, one ball, two strikes. The one two pitch to Murphy is outside for two and two. Murphy tried to next base and thrown out at second base by the right fielder who I believe is Zach Donahue. Number two, Brendan 
And now we have number two, Brandon Hines, stepping in. Ground ball to second base. Error by the second baseman, and Hines is now on. Now if Jackson Murphy doesn't get thrown out at second there, he scores. That is the name of the game. Pinch hitter for the Red Raiders. Seems to be a crowd favorite. Everybody at the backstop is going nuts. Number four, Charlie Ambrose. Charlie is hitting for Robert Broderick. Might be going in at second base as well. He fouls the first one straight back. The second pitch, he fouls the second one straight back. He's quickly down 0 and 2. Hennessy working fast here. The 0 2 pitch to Ambrose fouls it back again. And in the process, hits a car. A foul ball. Welcome to Adams Field. We're going to do the 0-2 pitch again. Another foul ball. Working hard up there is, uh, is Ambrose. Hennessy comes to the set. The 0-2 pitch to Ambrose. One ball, two strikes. One and two, straight up in the air. Fly out to right field. Zach Donahue comes in, makes a great play. Charlie Ambrose gets a roar of an ovation as he jogs back to the bench. We got two outs here in the sixth inning with a man on first base and the leadoff batter, number 19, Scotty Ritz is in the game. He hits a fly ball that Devin Desmond is under. And that is the end of the sixth inning. The Presidents have three outs to put up eight runs. Top of the seventh, coming up. With the North Quincy Red Raiders leading 11 to 3. As the last couple innings, they have another relief pitcher. It is Robert Broderick, and he throws strike number one. 
Hitting I told for the Quincy Presidents is number one, Anthony Morbido. Ball low and away, one and one. Foul ball on the right field line for strike number. We got one ball, two strike, Beto. Let's go, 2 1. He fishes at a ball up for strike three. 490? Really? Now batting for the Presidents, number 19, Ryan Lawton. Another pinch hitter for the Presidents is number 19, Ryan Lawton. He is first pitch swinging. The ball is straight up, and it's a fair ball. Ryan Lawton, it's a, it's a mile-high fly ball and gets a single out of it. Presidents are in business. What's up with these Next, number eight, Ryan the, the next hitter for the presence is number eight, Ryan. I am not going to butcher your name on TV, sir. It's it's Ryan, number eight, Chetwing. Chetwing. He's a senior. We're going to make on first with one out. And number eight is at the plate. Ball. Two balls. No strike. Still a really good crowd here at Adams Field. Still a ton of parents, a ton of kids supporting their classmates. It's a great scene here at Adams Field. The two pitches up, three balls, no strikes. Ball four. And we have first and second. And another pinch hitter for the Presidents. Next up for the Presidents, number 11, Harrison Steinjo. Pinch hitting for the Presidents is number 11, Harrison Stangle. First pitch he hits up in the air, fly ball to left field, which is caught by North Quincy, and we have two outs. Another pinch hitter for Quincy High, number one, Martin Moscardo, another senior. First pitch fastball down the middle for strike number one. For anybody watching at home, this guy will have to score. Game to continue. The 0 1 pitch. Strike two. Presidents are down to the final strike. 0 and 2, 2 out, seventh inning. 11 to 3, Red Raiders. He comes to the fastball, strike three, and that ends the game. Your final here from Adams Field, North Quincy, Red Raiders 11, Quincy Presidents 3. Your final score tonight, North Quincy 11, Quincy 3. The North Quincy pitching staff was Kyle DeBoer, Richard Ritz, Montero, and ended with Brondrick. They combined for seven strikeouts. Donahue and Hennessy combined for three strikeouts. Best of luck to all the seniors at Quincy and North Quincy and whatever they do moving forward. And I hope to see the upper class, the, the uh, underclassmen back next year. I want to thank QATV and John Clary for giving me the opportunity to call this game. I appreciate everybody watching. Have a good night.